All right, welcome everyone. Uh, thank you all for joining our second Take 20 Jira Powers uh, webinar here, uh, 10 Tips and Tricks for Significantly Boosting Productivity in Jira. Uh, we've made these sessions short and concise to bring you more bang for your buck. Uh, we hope you're able to walk away today with some valuable insight uh, to help you boost your productivity in Jira. Uh, before we get started, uh, we got some uh, some minor housekeeping items. Uh, so just to let you know, this webinar is being recorded and uh, we will be sharing it with all attendees later this week uh, along with the slides. Uh, if you have any questions during the presentation, uh, please feel free to put them into our GoToWebinars panel and uh, we'll get to them at the end of the presentation. And uh, now without uh, further ado, I'd like to introduce you to uh, Yugank Bhatnagar. Uh, he's our business solutions consultant here at Corporate Renaissance Group and he specializes in the Atlassian suite. Uh, so there you go, Yugank. Thanks, Kate. Uh, good morning to all of you. So uh, I'm, I'm working with Corporate Renaissance Group in the Atlassian practice. I am certified in Agile development with Jira software and Atlassian certified in Jira project administration. So uh, I would now take you over to the agenda items which we, which we would be covering today. So it would be uh, tips and tricks in JIRA, 10 of these, and a quick demo, and we would be open for the questions. As with uh, all other uh, platforms, like JIRA provides more flexibility uh, in, terms of, uh, for, as in terms of user options, and uh, the user are, is able to uh, meet their needs in a much more flexible manner as compared to the other uh, tools in the market. So that's why our users have more adoption towards the Jira platform in total. So let's stick to the tip number one. Before we do that, uh, it's, it's a disclaimer that uh, you may not have all the permissions uh, to perform the actions which we would be showing today. So in, even in any case, you need to consult with your Jira administrator per, before performing any of these actions. Tip number one, search once and save for future. So. There are a lot of times when a user uh, do searches which are pretty frequent. So it's better for a user to save the searches as favorites, uh, which helps the user to search faster the next time when it logs in. So we would go over that part in the demo as well. Tip number two, subscribe to save searches. So not all the time uh, you may be uh, interested to open the Jira. So it's better to have your results mailed directly in your email. Jira enables you to subscribe to an issue filter, a saved search. Jira will then run the search according to your specified schedule, which, with, which you define, and then e email the results as per the frequency, which you have defined in the subscription filter. A dot box to get what you need faster. So you can just click on dot on your keyboard, and it would open up a dialog box, and you can start typing the actions, for example, user management, uh, permissions, and many more. And Jira would start suggesting uh, those options to you in a dynamic manner, and you can direct, directly jump onto the, do that particular page in Jira. As the Jira platform is huge, it is a huge uh, win for all the users. Tip four, tag your issues using labels. So it's, uh, it's a kind of informal way to tag your labels or categorize your work. So either you are creating a new issue or either you are editing an issue in the, edit, in, the, in the new form, you can have the labels defined and it would, these labels can be then pulled in your searches. Tip five, add mentions. If you need to ping someone or you want to grab the attention of a person, you can just uh, type at and start typing the username and, or the name and what is the, and the Jira dynamic form would uh, start suggesting the name or the username of the person and you can at, uh, address to that particular person and write the comment. And an email will go to that particular person that their attention is needed on that particular issue. Tip number six, keyboard shortcuts. It's a pretty easy uh, to just uh, focus on your keyboard rather than just clicking again and again on your mouse. So there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts which you can use. Uh, I would show you where you can find the list of those shortcuts during our demo. Add stories to an issues faster. 
So at times it happens that you are having a very informal discussion with your team, and rather than you know having a full, filling a full-fledged form, you just want to type in and add stories in a faster way. So I will show you how you can create issue, what needs to be done to be captured faster. Tip number eight, how to update your preferences. So you can customize some of the elements in Jira according to the preferences which you want. Tip number nine, organize your work better. So through the use of components, you can group the issues and assign accountability of these grouped issue to a particular person in the team, like component leads or project lead, and you can group the issue according to say like user interface, database, so as many components as you want. And lastly, adding a custom field. So there are very specific needs for particular teams, and the built-in functions of Jira may not be able to meet those needs. So Jira gives you a lot of flexibility around of adding custom fields according to the needs of your team. So now uh, let's go back to Jira and see how all these steps work. So let's go to the sample project, search for issues. So you can put a jQuery query. and perform a search. You see that this, this particular search is used most of the times, so you can just quickly save the search using this, just provide a filter name and you can just save. It would add up in, as a favorite filter on your list here. So either you can rename or you can copy, you can remove or you can delete later on. Now, if you, you want to subscribe to this particular uh, saved filter, you just click on details, click new subscription, and here you can subscribe according to the schedule which you wish, like daily, days per week, and provide the interval, and, e e and you can have the option that it would email even if there are no issues. So you can get your issues directly in your email. By just clicking a dot on your keyboard, a dialog box would open up and you can have just type in what action you want to perform and Jira would start auto-populating the options. So you can just click on manage add-ons, user management, according to your dynamic search. Adding labels. So you can either edit an issue We'll just open one of the issues here. So the so you can when you create a new issue or you edit an issue, it would open up the labels field and you can add the labels as per your needs. Add mentions. So you can put add mention and you can see that as soon as you start writing it would start suggesting you the users to which to, to whom you want to highlight this issue and you, then you can continue with your comment on that particular issue knowing the keyboard shortcuts so when you go up here on the help click on keyboard shortcuts and it would open up the global and the navigating shortcuts which are really helpful for navigating in the application in a faster and a smarter manner without lo losing your focus from the keyboard. Coming back to tip number seven, adding stories and issues faster. So when you are here uh, in the open issue screen, you can see the create issue button right here. Just click on it and you can just start typing and click enter and it would start entering are uh, the issues for you in a faster way. If you want to open up the form, you just click that dot dot button and open up a dialog box to and show you the form to fill in other fields. You can update your preferences 
by clicking on your profile picture and clicking on profile and it would open up the some of the elements which you can update coming back to the projects adding components to organize your work better so you can add as many components as you want and then when you are back to the create issue or edit issue screen you can assign those issues to the particular component for example this component database has three issues assigned to it and you have the default assigning as a project default for custom fields you just in this example just add dot button and navigate to the custom field it would ask me to reconfirm my credentials you can add a custom field or you can find more custom fields in the marketplace if you click on add custom field you can have tons of options which can meet the particular needs of your team so that is it for the demo part i would pass on to give to take it uh, take the demo forward all right thank you igon uh, we got some question in uh, so let's just go through them uh, the first one is here is uh, can we share our search uh, filters? Yes, you can uh, share your search filters. Either you can share with a group or share with a particular team members. Okay, perfect. Uh, all right, the second one is here. Uh, can I export uh, search results? Yes, you can, so, uh, when, when you go the, onto the search results page, on the right-hand uh, side of the screen, you have the export option. I will just show you here example this thing and from on, on the right hand side you can go in and export the results in the format uh, which meets your needs okay perfect all right and we have another one here is uh, can apps be used for multiple users yes you can uh, address to as many people as you want just you have to type it at mention for different person like at user one at user two at user three so yes you can address to multiple people okay perfect uh we got another one coming in here are there any restrictions on who can uh, uh use the at mention in uh, comments or tickets uh there is a restriction on who can write the comment uh there is no uh restriction of of using at mention of uh, on the comment itself Okay, perfect. Uh, well, if you do have any additional questions uh, or comments, uh, please make sure to uh, contact us uh, at a later date and uh, we can definitely address those. Uh, anyways, we wanna thank everyone for joining today. Uh, hopefully you gained insightful information uh, on these awesome tips and tricks. At the end of the session, we do have a very short survey that will pop up. Uh, please feel free to uh, give your feedbacks and that way we can keep improving our, our sessions. And uh, again, be sure to register for the upcoming sessions at crgroup.com slash Jira20. Uh, thank you, everyone.